Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. Here are my thrift store finds for the past week or so. So I've sorted out into separate individual occasions. First of all, I picked up this neat little uh, 925 Italian silver bracelet and everything was half price at that little tiny thrift store. Um, so it was four dollar, not bad, one dollar. And uh, on the same day, went to another thrift store down the road. Didn't really find anything worth buying except this, which was in the Christmas section. So it is a hobnail glass, very nice color, pretty much brand new condition. And it says Fenton on the bottom. Fenton glass, very collectible. Uh, did a eBay search and these usually sell about twenty to thirty dollars got it for two dollars pretty good so it's a candle holder and on another occasion at another thrift store found this I thought it was like just some sort of plastic or vinyl uh, model slash toy uh, but it was on the shelves it was for two dollars and uh, what really piqued my interest was it was signed Galt and then it says here MQ so some sort of initials of the artist I guess and some sort of model number on the bottom and it's $1.99 did a search these are actually made in Paris hand painted and very collectible it's not per it's not in perfect condition I mean there's a few little chips here and there but nothing too nasty, you know, not too obvious. And some people collect these and, you know, make a whole little town scene. Actually made a porcelain, hand painted. So, uh, paid two bucks. Uh, they sell anywhere from 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars, depending on the condition. So that was pretty nice. And on another occasion elsewhere, picked up these three silver spoons mixed in with the uh, uh, what do you call it the uh, souvenir spoons so this these are called what demi tasse spoons like for espresso or little you know small cups of coffee um, they're 800 silver marked so 800 and it says brown And they're actually surprisingly heavy, about uh, 12 grams each. So this like, oh, and it was $2 each. So this is almost like a, an ounce of silver for six bucks. Very nice. And the same store a day or two later produces this huge, huge spoon, which is about 44 grams of sterling silver. And the funny story about this where everyone can learn um, something useful is uh, I saw this uh, in a bag of um, silver plated cutlery for $14.99 and I didn't want to get all that other junk you know they were worn out um, plated you know forks and knives spoons and this was the only decent thing out of the whole bag but I was pre prepared, I sort of did the math in my head, I was prepared that if I couldn't buy it by itself, I'll just buy the whole bag, pull this thing out and just donate it back to them. So, if you notice, it says here, 500 yards, July 9th, 1910. So this thing is already over 100 years old and it was engraved and used as some sort of award for some sort of sports event. And it is Canadian. You can see here. It's marked Sterling. Sterling. And we have some um, uh, silver hallmarks. And um, I believe it's the Ellis. P was a PW Ellis company, which later was absorbed into Burke's um, jewelry 
or Burke's company. Um, so this is basically around the same time as the engraving. So Canadian silver, 44 grams. All right, the story is, you know, I bring this bag to the counter and I ask the sales lady or, you know, the cashier, can I just buy the spoon, you know, because I really like the engraving. I don't want to get the rest of the stuff. And she was nice enough to point me out to the manager and asked her, ask her because, you know, the manager does the pricing. So I bring it to the manager at the back and, you know, I, I tell her I like this one, you know, and she opens the bag. It's, you know, stapled, right? Pull, pulls out the one I like. And first of all, she starts like rubbing on, you know, looking at it and rubbing here and rubbing there. I'm thinking, okay, you know, she's going to read it sterling. She's going to say, okay, yeah, you want to buy this one? Instead of $15 for the bag, how about 40 bucks? But instead of that, she's rubbing in order to put this label onto the spoon so it'll adhere better and writes $1.99. Hands it back to me. So I was ecstatic. I uh, went back to the till, paid for it, and left. So it doesn't hurt to ask if you you know if you're not sure. So yeah, ask them if you could buy that individual item that is grouped together with something else. You know sometimes depends who you get or if they recognize you you know for being a regular. Sometimes they could say yes, sometimes they could say no, but yeah, never hurts to ask. And just the other day. I picked up massive, massive piece. This. Um, at first, I thought, hmm, it's probably a silver plated piece. But right away, I grabbed it. You know, you got to stay clean uh, before anyone else. And I'm looking for the silver plate mark. I'm feeling, hmm, it's quite flexible. Good sign. And it has all the telltale signs of silver where there's like some silver polish in little crevices, like white pasty polish. Um, and it just looks good, right? And right here, I find a mark. So it says 800, so it's continental silver, you know, probably from Italy or, or Germany. And it's some sort of, some sort of model number. Let's see this. So I think it's A36. This monster weighs about four ounces, four and a, a third ounce. Uh, well, actually, after I calculated, of pure silver. So that was pretty awesome, especially the price, $2.99, awesome. Uh, so far, I think my biggest piece of uh, thrift, store, thrift store silver has not gone past five ounces. So one of these days, I wanna break that barrier. I mean, maybe it'll take, it doesn't have to be like a tea, silver sterling teapot or something to break that barrier. But uh, I'll take this any old day of the week awesome so here you go I, this is these are all my finds for the past week or so and very happy about it seems like lots of decent silver coming out um, the silver value on this is about $85 Canadian just you know the metal content but uh, I've checked online and usually goes for double if it's in a you know decent condition so like 160 bucks value probably this is about 27 28 dollars of silver but you know i think it's interesting enough to at least double that if i try to sell it but i'm gonna keep it you know me i'm a hoarder collector whatever same diff and yeah um pretty good haul anyways uh thank you for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it Please like, comment, and subscribe. And happy holidays, as well as have a, have a happy new year. Coin Picker out.